Welcome to the 12th video on CSS layouts. In this video, we're going to finish off our buttons on the navigation bar. Usually, most of the time, it's about a three to four step process to finish off buttons. And we did the first two steps, right? We created this black bar, of course, against our UL element. And of course, it extends out to the full width of the web page with the rest of our elements. And then, of course, we needed our LI elements to display side by side, so we created a rule for that, and we switched them from block to inline. And now we need to work against the buttons themselves, and that will involve working against the anchor tag. Now, if you look at the pointer, here we've got a regular pointer, and then you guys have all seen this, this little hand that you get when you go over a button or a link. And that is all the space for the anchor tag. So we need to work against all this space that encompasses this hand. And so that's what we're going to do. And remember now, everything is in top down. So we wanted our first CSS rules against the UL element, then the next one against the LI, and now we're going to work against the anchor element. So let's close this out. And of course, here is the anchor tags that we're going to be styling against. So these are actually going to encompass the link and the button, as I just showed you. And so let's go ahead and do that. And I've already typed out the code, so we'll just copy and paste it right here. Here you can see we're going against the anchor tag right now. We've, and so we just added the anchor to the end of this rule right here, the anchor element. Now, we want to set the text decoration to none, so that will get rid of the underline. We don't want underline on our buttons. I usually like to have my buttons using Arial. So I set the font family to Arial, but you can change that to whatever you want. Here is the padding that we'll use for our buttons. I like to use EM instead of pixels. And this is exactly what you can use for the rest of your buttons if you design other buttons. I like to use this padding arrangement right here. And I'm going to set the background color to black. We want that to match our UL element. Remember that expanded out with the color was black? We want that to match, so we want our buttons to match that. But we want white text. So the color of the actual text of the button should be white. So it will stand out nice and neat. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll open up our web page. And there you can see now we've got our buttons. Isn't that nice? And they stand out really nicely with that white text and we've got the black background. Now what we want to do is create a hover effect so that when we put the cursor over the buttons, we get this nice effect that will let the user know that they're hovered over that particular button. So let's close this out and we'll add the rule for that now. So we'll go right below the rule set that we created for the anchor tag. I'm just going to copy and paste in here. And remember, all we have to do to create a hover rule set is just type in colon and then hover directly after the A. And remember, there can be no space here. Just remember that's key. And what we're going to do is something pretty interesting here. We're actually going to create this nice reverse negative effect that you see on a lot of websites these days. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to reverse the color. So the color of the text when you hover over it now will actually be black and the background color will become white. So let's save this and you'll see this nice effect that we get now. Take a look at this. And we get this nice effect now when we hover over each button. Look how nice that is. So it actually is, looks almost like a reverse negative, like I said. The background is now white and the text becomes black. That lets the user know that they are hovered over this button. Now in the next video, we're going to work against the header. We're actually going to add a nice big header here to announce our website to anyone that visits it. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.